one? You're obviously confused in the round. year or are you just listening to Slurmcast, a podcast for no reason? Today we'll be discussing Season 6, Episode 13, The Futurama Holiday Spectacular. My name is Michelle Burlingame. With me are Tommy Roulette. How's it going? Pete Woodward. That's me. And our guest today, friend of the show, seat filler extraordinaire, George Dunn. I'm a full seat. A full seat. Welcome back, George. Thank you. Uh, Thank you for filling in on a pinch. Our reliable go-to dude. And then we rescheduled anyway. (laughs) (laughs) Well. That was mostly on To be fair, we rescheduled for... Both George and Tommy's benefit. It's true. I, there was some. There was a sick dog better. or something involved. I don't no, know. We, I don't adapted call my a, girlfriend a dog. Yeah. No, my fiance and I adopted a new dog, yeah. and we got it home. Tom, the other one's it, not even cold yet. We are helping another animal. Yes. Okay. And yeah, it turned out the, give, the dog had it. pneumonia, a terrible pneumonia, and uh, had to be in the hospital for the dog hospital. I'm going to use that. Same language but we got when to, I start on, dating again. On Tuesday, our normal time is we got to pick her up. So we got to spend time with her. I no, I, no judgment. I mean, it's it's just a crazy week all around. We're recording the night after Thanksgiving. So there was like yeah, a lot of stuff going on in general. Night, so night after you mean Halloween? <laughs> See, I don't even know. Uh, well, I was like, wait, 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 this is our, we, we jumped into the future to Black Friday. In fairness to Pete, we are doing a Christmas episode after Thanksgiving. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Before and, Thanksgiving. And you're after right. I was, yeah. So, and we were supposed to record this probably like a month ago. It's all yep. fucked up. I think um, our original scheduled record date for this was like September. 20, 29th or something. I've zigzagged the country twice since then. And yeah. I'm, going, I'm going back. The fuck, Pete. I know. Oh, look, got to earn a living, especially now. Um, so every, there's lots of uh, Halloween-y stuff going on. I, did you dress up this year, George? Uh, I dressed up for a Halloween party. At um, your Halloween party or another yeah, party? Well, yeah, I guess it was my party, too. Um, a different one. But, yeah, I, I dressed up as... Um, um, Vincent Price from Madhouse. Ooh. So, yeah. Mustache I saw a picture and all. of that on I did Facebook have a mustache, or something. Uh, but it doesn't show up under face paint. <laughs> 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 so I can't really grow a mustache to save my life. So, um, no. And then, yeah, uh, I was in the hospital dressed as Vincent Price. Wow. Oh, that's uh, awesome. Which was very strange. And then I had to wipe it off in, in the hospital. Uh, did, you ta- did you talk to everybody in the hospital like Vincent Price? Because that would have been. Why were you in the hospital? Uh, my girlfriend fell and broke her arm. Oh, ouch! Way home from the first party. Oh man! So it was, yeah, it was rough. Did you, did you just have him put her in like a full body cast so she could be a mummy for your party? We were talking about it when we were going to hand out candy, just like <laughs> wrapping her in toilet paper. <laughs> 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 and she would have been fully game for it, but oh, man, we only sucks. got one trick or treater, so it doesn't matter. I guess ouch. you get to keep all the candy then. That's Wait, true. Did you give that one trick or treater one piece of candy, hoping I that didn't you even had get to more. give the kid oh. candy? I was making chili. At the <laughs> God damn! What and what did you do, Tom? I. Uh, I only dressed up on Halloween, yeah. and uh, we just uh, painted our faces like skeletons and handed out candy on our to, porch. To kids that, and uh, there was only like twenty kids, maybe. That's, I was handing. I was main giving street. That's probably part of it. It's probably that, and like I don't know. It's it, yeah, there weren't a lot of houses in the area that were. Yeah. Nor are there, I think, any like really kids around that area. So it's mm-hmm. not like you're getting like really local people. Yeah. So I was like handing handfuls of. Candy she just to walked kids. out to Bunts and just like handed it to cars as they we came th- We were. <laughs> 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 like like Becca was so out. upset. We were out there for like a good half an hour before anyone mm-hmm. came. And she was just like, I just want to hand out candy. She's like, I'm going to just walk around with a bowl of candy and hand it out. <laughs> that's, that's what. Uh, I did the first year I was at my house because I got no trick or treaters and I had a whole bowl of candy. I literally just walked <laughs> like a down reverse trick yeah, or treat I, because I live on on like one of the three major thoroughfares of Lakewood. Yeah, I just like found I went to the uh, the closest 
residential street, walked down it about two minutes and started seeing kids. And I just started giving kids handfuls of candy. I was like, I, I bought this. Please take it. Take they it. had like, zero uh, trick or treaters for the last three years at my house. Weird. None. They have lots that people go to too. And like, they'll take kids to those. Yeah. There was one fairly close to where I live, but yeah. I'm like, let's call it trunk or treat. Yeah. yeah. So the Autorama drive in does trunk or mm-hmm. treat. Yeah. That's, That's really a little cool. different. That's different because it's like at a at a place, you yeah, know, like a kitschy place. They else. did one yeah. at my daughter's school, but like, I don't know why. Because this, I mean, you guys are in less uh, trafficked areas, maybe, but like our house was busy as shit once the rain let up. Because well, I think mm-hmm. like like this this side of town, there's lots and lots of kids. I mean, right. the the yeah. school's like just a few blocks away. But so I'm like, why are they doing this? Because there are cities around here that don't do trick or treating on Halloween. Mm-hmm. Uh, which is that's a whole other thing too so i'm like why are they doing this double thing is this like some backdoor into a harvest festival or some shit because i can't i can't get behind especially that. like back in the day before like the internet existed i don't know understand how people would like know the newspaper that. yeah oh. yeah <laughs> you would always remember it would, say, yeah, it would say on the newspaper just like fireworks on the fourth of july it would show you like what night whatever right. city's fireworks was going to be. Yeah, and, they still do that. Yeah. I mean, I get like doing it on a weekend, doing like a Friday or Saturday or no, something. No, it's fucking Halloween. You right. do it on that night. Exactly. It's not Easter where it's just and like... you're done by 8 o'clock anyway, so what... Yeah. Mm-hmm. What, like, the bunny shits after the moon comes out and then the Pope is going to decide when the Easter is. None of that. It's like, it's the 31st. Yeah. It's the 31st you of know, October. And maybe if we didn't do daylight savings time, then maybe it would be a little bit lighter <laughs> out for when I started going trick-or-treating. It should be darker when well, they hey. start trick-or-treating. Well, it always, well, yes, it absolutely should be darker because that's the whole fucking point of Halloween. Oh, yeah, and well. Lights and, and, and spooky costumes and whatever. And it always rains. Here. It has it has frequently. It and one year bad. it was just cold as shit. That mm-hmm. too. I mean, like, say what you will about Haddonfield, Illinois. I, have, I'll say I've never heard of it, and it's probably boring. They have a mass serial killer named Michael Myers. Okay. But their weather's always great on Halloween. Okay. So, just saying. I mean, the <laughs> four times it. that they've done, filmed what was going on four, on Halloween. Four times? Four? I don't know. Four times? Many more than 11. four. Are you, is that counting the Rob Zombie ones or of not? Of course. the Rob Zombie ones. Okay. I, I don't, look, I'm, I'm, not, I'm not arguing Shit's the good. facts. I'm just ill-informed. Mm-hmm. Um, did you dress up at all, Michelle? No. I mean, I, I like to live my life as though every day is Halloween. Yeah. And you're not far off. I also worked a 12 hour day yesterday. Fuck. So I did not dress up for Halloween. I dressed up for bed. And did then you, did I you left early, fell work early because it was Halloween? <laughs> I, I wish. couldn't. I've just been super busy. <laughs> well, and like the, the my night, brain was leaking out of my ears. So you went out to, you went to Alice Cooper the other night, right? Yeah, I did do Alice did Cooper. Did you dress on up Saturday for that? Night. I just put on a whole bunch of makeup and wore like a skeleton shirt. Like rock and roll makeup, not like face paint makeup. Like really heavy, dark. Yeah. Yeah. Rock and roll makeup. Rock were, and roll. Makeup. Were there people like costumed out oh my at God. the Alice so, Cooper show? The funny thing is that like like I was one of the youngest people there. There were a few teenagers that were like <laughs> there with their parents. And hating and it? I was or yeah, were they well, into it? There were some kids you could tell were into it. There were some younger people with like Alice Cooper eye makeup on. And yeah. I was like, oh, that that's a cool kid. Yeah. Someone's dad brought them here because they wanted to come, but the rest of them, I was like, these kids are like on their phones and playing video games, like waiting yeah. for Alice Cooper to go on. Yeah, kids but it was like Alice uh, Cooper. I, some, don't like I Alice did. Cooper. <laughs> <laughs> I love Alice I Cooper. Alice and Cooper that show ones. was awesome. It was so good. Uh, but yeah, there was a lot of fog. Like they they used so much of like fog juice that the whole place was. I guess uh, apparently the fire. So, like the fire alarms were going off out in the halls. We couldn't hear. I, it didn't bother me. I didn't even notice. But uh, my friend's husband went outside and he to get a drink or go to the bathroom or something. And he was like, yeah, the fire alarms are going off the whole time. You know everybody's ignoring that. Yeah. Well, you couldn't hear it inside the the venue with, right. with Alice Cooper There's playing. too much rock going on. It's too much. Um, Eating too many Frankensteins. Yeah, it was, yeah. It was pretty... Amazing! I had a great time. The only not great part was that it was out in Warren, and that's like an that's hour, an hour and fifteen minutes from here. Did um? But he wants to go did to it, who opened up, or was it just there uh, was no opener? That's it was a nice. paranormal evening with Alice Cooper, and he played oh. from like eight thirty to ten. 
Damn. How old is he now? 72. 70 Jesus yeah. Christ. Yeah. 72 years got, old. At least he can play for two hours or whatever. Oh, yeah. And he was fucking spry. And his wife, you know, he's got like a, I mean, she's. Is his wife or daughter? Not, both. Really? They both perform with him. But Wait, his, oh, his meant, wife, his wife I is. his daughter is his wife. <laughs> no, 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 no. They're dancers. So yeah, they yeah. met because um, his wife, you know, was in the Welcome to My Nightmare stage mm-hmm. show. And they got married and they've been together since the seventies and she still dances in his show. That's crazy. She's he doesn't she's like, the nurse. Huh? Do any drugs or anything either. Nope. Not never, anymore. No, he's ne- I don't think he's ever he, done. He drugs. used no, to no, drink yeah, like eighty five. Oh, yeah. oh really? He almost killed himself with cocaine. So. He used to drink like eighty five <laughs> cans of Budweiser drink. a day. Like that. No, I thought yeah. he had like Yeah, he he had a huge thinking of somebody problem. else then. Ted Nugent. Uh uh Gene Simmons and Paul Stanley say they're no, no drugs, no yeah. alcohol. I'm thinking the guys mm. from the Rolling Stones. I bet. <laughs> oh yes, yes. I bet Paul <laughs> Keith Richards poppers. guy. Gene, I believe him, but this just—I'm sure he just does it to feel superior. Gene about Simmons people. seems like the the lamest person in the world, so that sounds about right. Like I, I, and I'm yeah. That but we, boy, <laughs> we don't. That's a story don't wanna, for yeah. another podcast. Yeah, we've been talking for yeah, we'll ten do a minutes. Shot of kiss, I suck. so I went to a couple <laughs> Halloween like concert things and i just dressed up as db cooper which was really simple because it was just a suit and sunglasses and i almost I, dressed as Pee Wee herman because my <laughs> my friend's uh <laughs> wedding i was just in was a, a gray suit that's perfect that's like, awesome. yeah, yeah. I, I, it was <laughs> super low stress but then i built a bomb in a suitcase and uh ill-timed sure given what happened last arrested. week mm-hmm. but people loved it they really, it went over well because they just showed like, what are you, a businessman? And then I'd like open up the case like, oh, shit. <laughs> Please <laughs> go away. Sir. Yeah, thanks. Go on in. You're, you're fine. <laughs> and, and then the other half of the people were like, you're, who? And then I have right. to pull up the Wikipedia thing. And oh, like, my God. Oh, oh. I mean, I had to ex- explain who Vincent Price and Madhouse was. So yeah. Like, and what the movie Madhouse was. So. She, I mean, <laughs> it's like, do you recognize the fucking cleverosity going on, right. damn it. <laughs> no, that's fine. You can if, just be a if monster. Your Halloween costume has to be explained. It's not a good costume. Thank you, bro. It, right, but <laughs> if it has to be explained to dumbos, then but yeah, I guess it's no, a wash. Different. In fairness, like some of them are just. But DB Cooper, I think, was, is a pretty. That's like pop. That, that's not like a niche pop culture reference. No. That's like right. most people. Like mine, I would think mine for no. Sure is niche. Yours unsolved, is a little bit niche. Unsolved mysteries episodes and podcasts about him and all kinds of stuff. Mm-hmm. Like he's. They, they, there was that whole subplot on news radio for several years, where Jimmy James was supposedly DB Cooper. It's fantastic. Mm-hmm. Anyway, mm-hmm. the Futurama Holiday Spectacular. <laughs> yeah. Welcome to this Christmas episode. <laughs> yeah, Merry Christmas, everyone. I, uh, or Xmas or hey, Robonica. I'm glad happy we happy this. Thanksgiving. Yeah. <laughs> this would have really uh, sucked to do the day before Halloween. Right. Day after Halloween is much better. <laughs> I mean, I'll say this. I hate musicals and generally mm. hate them even more on this cartoon. But overall, I like this episode. You mm. hate listening to Katie Seagal, uh, Katie Seagal sing. That's what I, as soon as I like started this episode, I turned to my girlfriend. I'm like, Pete hates Katie Seagal singing, <laughs> even though she's the only professional singer of the group. <laughs> <laughs> professional yeah. in that she gets she's great. She You're Bob crazy. Dylan. I. I'll, I'll wait until we get to that part. <laughs> you mean the very beginning of the episode? Yes. <laughs> um. So, the the that was Tom playing with his microphone. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I was tightening it up. You'll go blind. I, this is what I didn't understand about the Gunderson's unshelled nuts. They were they had they were shells. shells. <laughs> <laughs> I think yeah. that's the joke. They're not so good. <laughs> <laughs> no, yeah, well, and then they had different nuts throughout, and then there was shelled nuts later on. Yeah. So, I mean, I always like the, I mean, sometimes they're complete non sequiturs, but in a thing like this where they're just gluing. Like the fake commercials and yeah. like ads and stuff in the middle of it. Yeah, um, but Fry being... Um, all bummed out about Christmas because he just is. Um, I'm glad they waited seven seasons to to get to this plot. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Right. This is actually I meant to mention this at the beginning. This is actually the season broadcast season seven finale. Yeah. Really? Yeah, this is the season finale. That's why at the end of uh, yeah. Al Gore says they'll be back next year. Don't worry. Oh, we'll I guess that also makes sense if like it was in December. Year. Yeah. yeah. yeah so. Um. Yeah, and they just rehash the whole Santa thing. Like, yeah. oh, initiate defenses, blah, blah, blah. But um, Fry wanted a, 
a, a Christmas song to explain like all this shit again. Something about right. Xmas just doesn't feel like Christmas. Yeah. I forgot <laughs> they did palm trees. I forgot that was a thing. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, because all of the pine trees were extinct. Right. As I we usually learn. skip over the Christmas. I hate Christmas. Like, pick yeah. the right person to be on this episode. <laughs> um, I was just wondering, like, they locked down Planet Express, and then Santa gets in through the chimney anyway. Right. I think uh, he did that the last time, too, or one of the episodes. The last time I was on this fucking show, there was a Santa <laughs> episode. Was it? Or it was a movie, but, like, Santa was in. Oh, was he, which one was it? Who cares? Bender's Big Score. Okay. It, 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 Santa just shows to be up fair, for no reason. Yeah, but I like every character is in that movie. Right. Mm-hmm. Yeah, like, that was the, they were blow their wad on that. Yeah. Entirely I hate Santa, uh, the Santa Claus bot. Yeah, I prefer when he is voiced by John Goodman and yes. not yeah. I was gonna say the opposite actually. Really? I do kind of like uh, 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 John DiMaggio's John Goodman esque. Yeah. Yeah, because I think it's like John Goodman's is John Goodman's too wholesome. And like at least with his voice acting, like I think you he's think? he's kind of leaned in recently to so. like being a villain. I don't know. Like, I, you go back and watch him in the old Coen Brothers movies. Yeah, but he was well, also Fred Flintstone. Yeah, yeah. He, I mean, that like, he's got like, that. What's uh, uh, Big Lebowski is like kind of supposed to be mm-hmm. like he's playing against type in that movie. Like, no, even before like Hudsucker Proxy, I think. Mm-hmm. There's yeah, I think. Wait, what, what, shoot, no, I think in Oh Brother, isn't it, Was where it he Hudsucker? like beats the shit out of somebody. I mean, he's always been kind of an evil person no, in, right, in the Coen right. Brothers stuff. Yeah. But even he was still kind of a goofball in those movies, especially Raising Arizona. With that, right. and, and I mean, certainly in Big Lebowski. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But I, I mean, like, yeah, he's he's genial fat guy, mm-hmm. uh, despite being sort of a Roseanne apologist at this point, I guess. I don't or, or is oh, he's not an apologist going. at all. No? no? No, he's been pretty defensive of her, though. Well... I mean, it's weird. I, I, I'm they didn't get along for 20 years. I watched that new season yeah. of Roseanne. I did, too. Like, I, I watched I, it. I liked it. I, I liked it, too. I'm watching right. The Connors. I haven't watched The Connors. Yeah, hey, not either. I've already started. Get into it. Mm. I don't, I, I'm don't. i watching spooky stuff still. Yeah, well, they had that I'll Halloween always episode. Watch I need to watch. Spooky stuff. Yeah, that's just life. Yeah. That's that's just, I, I mean, I'm so far behind watch on what? everything. Sabrina? Sabrina, I know. I it's, gotta watch that. I gotta watch the haunting. So far, Hill yeah, it's pretty, I have like yeah. two episodes left. I heard and it was it's good. Really good. <laughs> Sally Draper side like, reminds boob me was of Buffy a little bit. Mm, it it was, I heard weird. that too. She's bracing. My friend just said that boob. today. It's weird. Yeah, but the show itself is really. I good. I'm enjoying it. It's very um, like if American Horror Story. Mm-hmm. Didn't make you think it was shitty sixty percent of the time. Or if Riverdale was well yeah. made. Yeah, yeah. That's I knew it was. I knew it was the same people that did Riverdale because Sabrina is an Archie comic spinoff. Yeah, so I knew it was the same. The only thing is, I just miss. I wish Salem talked and they used the guy that voiced him in the, <laughs> the sitcom the, the, with the, Melissa Joan Hart. Hart I wish they had left, and he was just as goofy. Uh, Everything else was dark, but it was just <laughs> Salem being <laughs> exactly the puppet. Everything just. I for wish me. they'd left Aunt Hilda and Aunt Zelda the same actresses, but isn't Caroline Ray still in the new Sabrina? If is she is, else? no, Lucy yeah. Davis is. Lucy Davis plays uh, Carolyn Ray's. Uh, no, character. but Caroline Ray is a different character in the show, isn't I she? I haven't seen her yet. So. There's oh, another Sabrina show on Netflix. Sabrina the Teenage Witch, the oh. series. The like, Chilling Adventures of Sabrina. You're yeah. talking about. Oh, there isn't a. You, I thought. She, no, Caroline Ray is not in, in it. it. I no, she was. I haven't seen her. Huh. Gata from if, um, Battlestar Galactica shows up in an episode. Though. Yeah. And Missy from uh, Doctor Who is. Uh, well, and and Mrs. Mm-hmm. Wardell uh, was on Green Wing. That's I don't know what the fuck Green Wing is. But oh, it's, it was this crazy <laughs> yeah, no. British. He's it's, talking dad again. Uh-oh. No, it, no, it's uh, what was it? It's late nineties, early two thousand British sitcom sketch. That, like it's sort of like similar to Scrubs, okay. with maybe less coherent narrative and more. Totally outrageous behavior. So like good scrubs. Yeah, okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, it it was it at times got very surreal. Um, I don't even know how I came. I mean, it might have been on BBC America for a while or something. Mm-hmm. I really dug it, and then one of the guys from that ended up being in the first television adaptation of Dirk Gently. Okay. Um, uh. So it, and then it all falls. But the but the woman that's on Sabrina was on Greenwing, and, and I'm like, who the fuck is that? And like trace back. 
Anyway. I just miss the original Harvey. That's all I meant. I, I love the line where they say it's the most violentest uh, season of the year. Um, I think it's in the song. Mm-hmm. I think Santa sings that line. But I did want to say, and I, I'm zagging when you thought I was going to zig, there was the one time when Katie Seagal sang that I was okay with it. And it's because she did a straight reading of a line, and that was that. It wasn't all like boozy and over the top. It was just she like didn't very, it was in sing it. very much in this episode. No, exactly. She only had like two exactly. Or three lines. Exactly. Yeah, she had one line in that oh, really? song. I've I've in never that song. said oh, okay. uh, it, my problem with her singing is not that she isn't a, a she she can execute singing very well. Mm-hmm. It always sounds. It sounds like a theater kid singing rock and roll to me. Right, because she's singing in a voice. Yes, and that's, and that's, that's I abrasive think that's kind to of me. what my issue with John Goodman Santa is, is John Goodman mm. is doing a voice. Yeah. And he's not very good at voices. Yes. He's just John Goodman. Right. You know, and that's kind of why people like him. Um, but I, I, I don't know. I've never really had an issue. I think she's equally bad as everybody else on the show. Like, bad good. Uh... I, she's us. She stands out to me. It's it's yeah. it, and again, it's not even about. She tries harder. Yes, I can see that. That's that's the because it, it just in the in the milieu of voice acting, it's like she stops and goes, "Okay, now I'm going to project my lyric," right. and that it just like Phil it just bugs me. It's just like just talking. Yeah. <laughs> oh fuck! I, that when we get to the Kwanzaa part, loved it. Anyway. Oh, okay. okay. Um, <laughs> so, like, just as an offhanded thing, Scruffy's dead. <laughs> I, I love yeah. when Fries just kicks his foot. Yeah. <laughs> and, and it's just like, he just shakes a little bit, and that's that. I just wrote in, in my notes, like, they killed Scruffy? I See, even in this, this part, like, there was all of this stuff in the middle with the barking snakes where there are like these throwaway lines. The right, like like we were talking about the pine trees being extinct. <laughs> the Kramat Virginia line was great. probably my favorite line of the entire show. <laughs> but when, when, They're not just going to show up uh, in a salad at Olive Garden. Like the barking snakes. <laughs> like that was brilliant. <laughs> like, that's, that's got so many fucked up layers to it. Because first of all, barking snakes. Like just that, right. that whole convention was wonderful. Like I love the barking <laughs> snake characters. Maybe next year I'll be a barking snake for Christmas. <laughs> for Christmas? <laughs> <laughs> so I, just, uh, I just said, my next door neighbor Christmas. My next door neighbor dressed up in a Santa costume yesterday while we were trick-or-treating. <laughs> it's, it, it was like a $6. No, it was great. $6 costume that they bought at Mark's. So it's just, mm-hmm. I mean, he was just like sweating and dying. But people fucking loved it. They were walking around and kids were like, "Hi, Santa." He's like, oh, "I'm just checking my list. Are you naughty or nice?" Yeah. And like we were, we were talking about before the show, like people like bus in kids from right. like uh, more inner city neighborhoods and stuff. It's uh, all good or whatever. But the kids loved it. Like all was, like, "Hi, Santa." And <laughs> it's cool for the kids. I'm into it that. was great. Yeah. It was and even after he took the beard off. Like he's got a beard, right. but like it's just you know like a well groomed. You know, brown beer. The guy's like thirty, and like, <laughs> I just loved it. It was so much fun. He's like, I'm gonna, I'm gonna wear this at Thanksgiving and Christmas and next Halloween too. Like, it's everybody loves Santa. It's a third Thanksgiving Santa. Yeah, <laughs> it's a St. Patrick's Day Santa. Um, did the, the seed vault's a real thing, right? Yes, I believe so. Mm-hmm. Next and to it, the germ warfare. I don't think it is next to the germ warfare. I mean, the <laughs> old location was they with moved the, it. Yeah. With the broken the window. The germ warfare one's probably deep in Siberia, so it's not that far away. Why did the guy have a Canadian accent? I was going to ask the same thing. Uh... I think I don't think he was quite Canadian. I he was supposed to be Norwegian, so he kind of had that Minnesotan sort of like north, the north type. No, he sounded sure as I did shit think Canadian the same me. thing. Yeah, I did think the same Canadian. thing though at first. Like he kind of sounds Canadian. I do love that he had two barking cobras. Yeah, he did. Yeah, he had <laughs> barking guard, guard, guard barking snakes. snakes. <laughs> I mean, he he sounded like Bob and Doug McKenzie. Yeah, it was, it was just like straight up on that. But I mean, again, like who cares? But then the the when they go in, um, what was it? So they they the pine trees were killed by the, when they were making emergency toilet paper during the fifty year squirts. <laughs> <laughs> Which I that oh see that's the stuff about this that I liked. Like I just 
because I didn't have to invest in a story, I could just take the jokes at face right. value and go, mm-hmm. that's funny. See, There's something later on where I laughed out loud, and that never happens. My big issue with this is, like, it is funny. I just, like, it wasn't funny enough, and I don't, I think this is probably the best story of the three. Really? I think so. Okay. I, it's not saying much, I guess, but um, I don't know. I just didn't give a shit about any of them. And the fact that it didn't help that it never set up that it was an anthology until the first story was over. Yeah. Um, cause none of them have names. None of them have anything like it's just, well, they did have goes. the, the Gunderson's nuts ad at the beginning, which kind of like, right, but in, they do that in other episodes. They do, but they're all the Rarely. anthology episodes or the movies have the episode, have the, I feel like they've done, they've like done it a episode, couple though. times Probably. in a regular one, like, but well, not yeah. often. Zap Brannigan one that I was on. They do that, but it, I mean, it's different in the sense of like it's Zap Brannigan's adventures. Yeah, yeah. The Kif. Like, is yeah. that Kif gets? Is that the one? Kif no, gets it's the one no, where it's the Zap no, the one I missed. Planet. Oh, that's right. With Dave, yeah. I believe is on. Um, yes. It, it, it's just like it's a, it's a weird like because that's like a wraparound story, but this is like mm-hmm. just like interstitials, and it's funny. It's a funny way to get in in and out of commercials and stories, but. Yeah, I don't know. I just didn't like it. This is one that I always skip when I'm watching it. Yeah, I'm sad at how many times I had to watch this episode because it's we've we've had this episode scheduled (laughs) several (laughs) times now, and I have to keep watching it so I remember. God damn! I've watched this one so many times I forget it every single. I've already forgotten most of this episode, and I watched it an hour ago. It's kind (laughs) of blah. I, I just like, oh, yeah, this is the one with the Kwanzaa bot. Look, mm-hmm. D- Kwanzaa Dick Bot's Cheney. Great. I do oh, like yeah. Kwanzaa bot. Dick Cheney ordering Nixon to steal the pine tree and <laughs> the pine cones. Now? Is that canon? Uh, is that something I missed? No, I well, it's know. it's not a canon episode because it's, right. an, you know. But, like, it's just, I don't know. It, Mr. Uh, Cartoon Logic over here is not. <laughs> well, well, everyone like, dies at the end of the. Yeah, the planet gets extinct at yeah. the end of this one, and they're all back again for Robonica like five minutes later. <laughs> The Earth literally burns to a crisp. <laughs> I know because okay after it. because it overruns like the trees with the exploding pine cones, which were fucking awesome. Mm-hmm. Don't pine cones do that when you light them on fire? Like, aren't they like super like flammable because of all the pine tar in them or something? I've never tried. No, not not to my experience or knowledge. <laughs> no, I've set no. many a pine cone on fire. Not that they explode, but that they're really like if you get them, like if you throw them into uh, maybe certain pine cones. Okay. Maybe if they're really dry, I mean, it's just like dry wood. Or you put them into like a, a fire pit or something, like they really snap, like crack, pop. pop. Yeah. yeah. I don't. I don't know. Probably the same. Um, but uh, there was one more line where they put in there, um, where the earth is overrun by trees, just like it was before the white man came. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I don't. I don't know what it is about Bender doing his Archie voice, or his Archie Bunker voice. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That just like every single time he does it, it just does something for me. It's like, well, you, you, come on, what are you talking about? Huh? <laughs> I can't do it. Was it was it the one where he goes, "Hey, cool, the air's on fire"? <laughs> or was that? No, something? it was it was before. I can't remember exactly where or what the line was. I should have wrote it down. But um, oh, it, it, it comes, comes on right during the. Ro- is it the Robonica part though? No, it's during the tree stuff. Huh. It's, it's like when all the trees are growing. Yeah, it's like a real throwaway line. But just like his his the his voice is just like it doesn't. Ah, jeez, uh, with this, eh? Yeah. <laughs> That's what he says. Jeez, with this, eh? <laughs> I you know, and it all wraps up nicely with a ho ho ho. Everyone's dead. Yeah. I mean, it 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 they put a little bow on it. It's sure. fine. It's not. It, I mean, it's not. It isn't going to come back as my favorite episode, but it was right. innocuous. Right. The, I only had to watch it once though. Yeah, see, I, as someone who's gone through this series a lot, I, I've grown to resent this episode. Not in the sense of, like, I don't think it's, like, in the, the bottom ten, but, like, it's only one, and, like, I don't want to watch it. It's in that middle 50 right. somewhere, bottom of the bell curve. Right. Um, so the what, the Robonica section of this, you know what? Hanukkah Zombie wasn't in here. That's what I was going to say. Right, this yeah. one was, like, you could have. I mean, I, I know it's getting Mark Hamill is kind of difficult, but, like, you already recast John Goodman. Just recast fucking yeah. Mark Hamill. Maybe he has like a, I don't know. He's a more established voice talent. Right. I mean, you can't replace Mark Hamill, but like, why not? <laughs> just do it. Like, <laughs> they did with a girl in the new Star Wars. Now it's bad and wrong. <laughs> Mark Hamill was still in it. <laughs> but now he's not the last Jedi. And now the last the Jedi I is a girl. <laughs> 
I no, he seems like a very genial guy. He's, he seems like the best person in the world. I yeah. Love him. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I, I mean, I just, I didn't even realize that he was Hanukkah zombie. So yeah, that's interesting. Um, yes. Uh, I mean the, the opening gag of having to destroy the gifts they forgot to deliver was nice. Like that's, I mean, they're not even going to keep them. Like, right. I guess it's like, well, they're not ours, but we, we, we did breach contracts. So let's get rid of the evidence. Yeah. Instead. That's yeah, exactly. <laughs> um, I love when uh, uh, Bender's trying to explain Robonica. Yeah. And he just turns to the professor. He's like, hit it. He's like, hit what? <laughs> <laughs> I just I have a note in here that just says, God, I hate these songs. There you go. I mean, this one was not. The Robonica one's the worst. Yeah. Mm. Bunch, without a doubt. Easily. But. Um, uh, there's Abraham the monkey. I did love the monkey riff. Yeah. Um, I love that uh, jumping ahead a bit. Uh, when we get we go forward in time, you see his skeleton in the corner. Yeah. He's still watching and riffing. <laughs> right. Uh, the oil wrestling robots. I they mean, were was... drinking uh, Robo Shevitz, too, instead of Mana Shevitz. Right. That's funny. <laughs> I've never partaken. Are, are any of you familiar with that particular Manashevitz, libation? No. Mm, I've had it. Yeah? It's good. I don't know. Good I like it. It's, uh, it, it. You probably would hate it. Yeah. Honestly. Yeah. It's. What are you talking about? I miss it. Oh. Is it's it? like a really, really sweet. Oh, wine. yeah. Nope. Yeah, not for me. Not for me. Like grape juice. Mm-hmm. I, I just know that from the No Effect song. That's yeah. Pruse. the Pruse. <laughs> <laughs> I it's it's uh I mean it, God. I it's been around forever. Is it I mean, is it just so it, it's not like a ritualistic thing. It's just like Manischewitz? It's just like table wine, right? I don't really know, honestly. Like, yeah, I don't know. Was this like a, a art school cut and loose thing, or what? How did you come across it? <sighs> how many Jews? I just in the art bought school? some and drank it, Pete. Okay, <laughs> Do I'm just I asking. Need a it was three dollars. I drank. I, it. Yeah, no, look. It, it wasn't. It wasn't three dollars. Um, Look, I'm not above drinking vermouth if that's all that's left kosher. in the house. Yeah, are, it's just kosher. It's just kosher. Are there of Manischewitz? Like it's there, okay. Like bottom shelf, top shelf Manischewitz? I think it's. I think it's just a one size fits all. Yeah. Maybe but like that. I mean, that leads into the next part. Like whale oil, squirrel oil. I, I love squirrel. Not oil. kosher. I just found out there's a squirrel that uh, has like its babies in my one of the couches on my porch. Oh God. <laughs> He's my, he's oh, the they've black got, squirrel on my they porch. They have flavors of Manischewitz. Really? They've got six flavors. See, this is starting they to sound more and more creams. like Mad Dog. They also have creams yeah. and cordials. Oh, no, it's it's not like Mad Dog at all. It's it's wine. Yeah. It's grapes. Mad what are the flavors? Uh, Concord grape, blackberry, cherry, extra heavy Malaga, elderberry, and what? medium dry Concord. What is extra heavy And extreme Malaga? blue. Don't know. That's the only one. <laughs> Fierce apple. Strawberry kiwi. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's Boonsy. It, not, not Mad Dog, but maybe Boone's Farm. I don't know Boone's Farm. What's Boone's Farm? Oh, Boone's Farm was super cheap. Oh, gross. Yeah. It's, it's the sugary it's wine. It's the wine I used to buy right when I turned twenty one because they sold it at the BP that was across the street from my ex's house. You just go to and I would it, it was two ninety nine. Yeah, but, yeah. It's, and it's it, two ninety nine a bottle. The secret about Boone's Farm was it wasn't even wine; it was a fruit flavored malt beverage. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. So it was yeah, it, like a proto Mike's hard lemonade, but I it, drank it, many you'd get it in liquors. you'd get it in a wine mm-hmm. bottle, and, and it was I delicious. Would, I could drink the whole bottle. It was delicious. It was like one serving. Like Michelle's good for the night. She's got her bottle of Boone's Farm. And, and whatever was, color it was was the same exact color coming back up. Yeah. <laughs> I never. I don't think I ever barfed up Boone's Farm. I always had. Trouble I haven't. I hate it. I, hate I always got the strawberry daiquiri flavor. And strawberry banana was good. I hate banana flavor. You did this things. weird like turn with your head, like you were like. I'm oh, the, it's the good no! One. I'm, I I went to the chiropractor <laughs> <laughs> and I I'm I'm still kind of like loosened up. I'm, I'm all. I can turn my head all the way to the left now. It's great. Ooh, I'm pinching a nerve. <laughs> How much yeah, did it cost yeah, right now? You should have so just bad. gone to the Integratron. Same deal with no contact. I I like being cracked. That's I do the too. Thing. I, I mean, it's. I like when when this I get like taking a weird turn. When doesn't it? <laughs> I'd rather talk about any of this than this food? episode, yeah, though. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Well, so how did how did the. Uh, how did the world run out of petroleum oil? 
I don't. I, I feel like it probably just was already out because it was like yeah. a thousand years. That's why they're they're not running. That's why they're running on dark matter and um, whatever else they're running on. I just feel like petroleum oil is probably just depleted already. Okay. Another throwaway line from the wrestlers: "I don't wrestle dry. I went to Vassar. Yes. <laughs> I don't I wrestle dry, Ben. I, uh, I, I went to Vassa. <laughs> A nice, another nice throwaway, throwaway line with the, uh, the, the, the drill is turned up to a thousand Bachman Turners. I was going to write yeah. that. <laughs> so I know Bachman Turner Overdrive is a band. Uh-huh. Yeah. That's all I know. That's but I all, still yeah. laughed at it. Like I don't, I, I can't even think of a song, but. Taking care of business and uh, oh, okay. All right. no, okay. business that's like, I mean, time, I'm, they were Canadian. So there was that that 54th parallel firewall that's hard to break over unless you're oh, like they rush. also did you rush ain't seen really nothing talent. yet bow bow, bow. 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 They they did that too? yeah it was the same band yeah Jesus Jesus Christ, Christ, the best, yeah the best band of all time <laughs> the, i think you mean the b- 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 best band of all time <laughs> yeah sorry I, I forgot about my speech impediment <laughs> <laughs> there uh you know i was resident randy bachman in something else like i like i want to say he was in the guess who or some other Canadian band. So it was like his offshoot. He, he was in the Guess Who. He was also in uh, Ringo Starr's band in the 90s. Yeah. So, I mean, it was like Bachman Turner Overdrive was like a Wings type situation. Oh, okay. Um, you know, but whatever. I mean, it's, it's, you know, there's, that's all you need. You just need one Grand Funk Railroad We're an American Band song and that can float you for the next 40 years. <laughs> I've, yeah. <laughs> yeah, you know they t- they t- they took care of business. I'm I'm still working on my YouTube uh, music uh, algorithm, so I'm getting a bunch of one hit wonders right now. So really, mm. it's nothing but '80s one hit wonders. Was What's um was the mole coffin a reference to something else? They said like they're just drilling in just mole men. I think it's just gonna be mole men. Yeah. Um, yeah. <laughs> but then <laughs> the albino humping worm. It's like, why, why do they, they call him that? that? He doesn't have any pigment. So much. It was so good. Was it was such a, so like, good. Obvious joke. I hated it so much. It was. I don't know. It That's, was one that needed it, to have a rim shot afterwards. Right. It <laughs> was. In, it was endearing. Um, but like, just so the issue is that the ship is going to crack under the pressure because well, sometimes it just falls that, apart in the hangar. Didn't they do that joke like a while ago? Where they like they're they're going underground. It's like how much. Uh, I think they went underwater. It was underwater, and how many underwater. atmospheres yeah. can yeah. this... One and, or zero. Yeah. <laughs> like, how many atmospheres can the ship take? And there I was, was waiting like, for that joke to come, because I was like, is this this episode? So, like, I don't yeah, I, episode. I couldn't remember if that was the same joke twice or if I had just seen this episode too many times. I was right. like, what? why am I remembering this joke? It was just, it got... Um, you know, then it gets hot. Hermes ice cream sandwich melts, which I'd His be really ice cream about. manwich. My girlfriend oh. screamed at the screen and said, "What the fuck?" <laughs> <laughs> I was like, "Yeah." Look, I mean, calling Bender a junkyard golem was pretty great, right? Yeah, that was good. The ice cream manwich was not. <laughs> and I mean, so the but basically, getting crushed to death until they turn into oil is how it all resolves, and Bender's happy. I but do Fry's like hair is just hair. floating <laughs> yeah. on top. Leela's boot is still perfectly <laughs> normal. <laughs> it could like withstand. Bender forgets after 500 million years. Yeah, yeah. Just, uh, oh, look, and then the the wrestlers are still going, and it's a it's a Robonica mm-hmm. miracle. What did they say? Oh, they said something when when Bender came in back into the room. Did they not? I don't remember now. Uh, da, 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 da. I, I don't was, think so. I, I think they were still the just wrestling. But I don't I know. I just laughed at the. I don't remember. Skeleton. I don't think they. He was all about Bender at that point, yeah. wasn't it? Yeah, Bender he just great. says, uh, "Coming up next, more thoughtful interfaith hijinks." <laughs> <laughs> all right. uh, beautiful. And then we get to the crown jewel of this episode. Well, I in think, between, in right? between, so before we get to to Kwanzaa, there is a a Gunderson's nuts like title card it says. Enjoy Gunderson's unshelled nuts, except lot number 34B. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah I, and, oh. and now the unrelated conclusion. <laughs> it was it, this part of the show, this story. A, the jokes. The jokes in here that made me laugh made me laugh out loud. There's some good ones. Yeah. There's some really mm-hmm. good ones. 
Um, but everybody shows up at Hermes's house, Hermes and LaBarbera's house for uh, Kwanzaa. Now, I was, and this this kind of happened as it as it went along. I had some thoughts about this. Um, I, I made the note later on, but basically the short version being like, I, I do feel like it got a little bit problematic, maybe. Oh, without a doubt. Like, I mean, like- I mean, they they kind of poured it on thick, and it was like, here's what a bunch of white MIT writers are going to write about right. Kwanzaa and, and thoughtful, well, funny jokes. They made but plenty of jokes about white people. It's true. It's true. I, I, I just... And I don't know who wrote it. I mean, it, it, I'm, maybe I'm making assumptions, too. It's just... When, when um, your only black character on your show is voiced by Phil Lamar, yeah. he's voiced by, like, he's the only black <laughs> voice right. actor in the world. He, yeah, he like, it, voices every... Weird. Yeah. When when all almost all of your jokes are, like, making fun of Kwanzaa, which yeah. is cool. Like, have fun. You're making fun of Christmas. You're making fun of Hanukkah, too. Like, do it. I mean, like, but, Curtis like, Cook used to have some really great bits about mm-hmm. it. You know, it's... I, I get I mean, it. Like, and it is, like... like Christmas and all those things, and none of them are sacred cows. Like, yeah, Kwanzaa's pretty well, goofy, and the jokes are fucking great. Yeah, true. And I think, really I think Kwanzaa, Kwanzaa's actually yeah. pretty cool. Like, I, I learned quite a bit about Kwanzaa <laughs> when I was younger. We, I went to a school that had a lot of um, African children who went there, and one of the teachers spent like a whole month teaching about Kwanzaa and mm. about like all the the seven principles and everything. So. Like, I, I know a little bit. I mean, it's granted been 20 something years since so this half, happened. So, but, half as right. long as Kwanzaa's been around. They well, even taught me that's, Kwanzaa stuff. I think that, cool. it's all made up yeah, anyway. I think the one, Kwanzaa is not, fa- it's not religion based, it's a celebration of culture yeah. and and heritage. So I think out of all of the the winter holidays, if that's what you want to call yeah. them, it's like kind of the cool one of the coolest because it's a, a group of people who created a holiday for themselves to um, celebrate so their past and their, their like culture. talk like a pirate day. <laughs> <laughs> Which no, I, I and I agree. I mean like you know, Christmas is made up too. It's, it's all made up. It's, but I mean, I like I go, joke, I go OG with Saturnalia. The one so. joke that I thought was a little bit like was uh, when they go to get the beeswax because you need to have beeswax candles yes. for your your stuff. Uh, the one Amy joke where she says, "Oh no, this could be the year without a Kwanzaa, like every year before 1966." Yes. <laughs> yeah, that's my favorite joke. Yeah, yeah it thing. was like, "Oh, that's a good one," but I feel like really bad that I'm laughing at this really great no, joke. But, well, but, that's yeah, like, but they making they, fun they, of Kwanzaa. That's right. making fun of the fact that it is new. Exactly. Yeah, they, they do it right up, uh, right up at the beginning too. So everybody's right. coming over. So they get they get uh, Ethan Bubblegum Tate shows up with mm-hmm. a math math, math ball ball. book. <laughs> Barbados yes. Slim is there, which again, La Barbara has no respect for Hermes. Gives I like that he all. flexes oh, the snow off naked. his shoulders. Yeah, <laughs> but but when Kwanzaa bot bursts through the wall and Dwight says Kool Aid's here, well, that, <laughs> yeah. that made me lose my shit. Well, there, At, <laughs> before that, I believe it, there there was it was a, it's a Kwanzaa is a tradition dating back over a thousand years. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's like 40 years old. Um, the, the the thing, and then it's like, no, child, that's not a made-up character. That's Kwanzaa Bot, <laughs> is, is LaBarber's response to that. Um, I, it, but it just keeps coming. Like, Zoidberg, lay down a beat. How about I just lay, lay down? down. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it was it was really good. Um, uh, what was it? Uh, uh, it's like, what's that, Black Santa? <laughs> <laughs> I just, I, I don't know. The the whole thing, was it, they must be made of bees, beeswax or you might as well be white. Was that a line in the song? Yes. yes. Okay. Well, then there's a, and that's the then, then the they're pot. all standing there writing it down. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> they best be made of beeswax or y'all might as well be white. And then the going to light the, the regular candles. It's like, those stink stanks, or <laughs> stink stank sticks are for single women who take baths. <laughs> <laughs> just... I feel offended. <laughs> <laughs> As a single woman who takes a lot of baths, do you like candles? Uh, not sometimes I do, not every time. Are I they... usually, I what I do now is I swap out my regular bathroom light bulbs for my Philips Hue bulbs, and I put them on colors. Oh man, that's what I do instead of candles that now. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's kind of hot. Hey. Like, hey, how do you do? You, do you, you're not Club playing with candles. your phone or something in the bathtub, though, right? No, I set it up beforehand. Okay. I mean, I could. Yeah, yeah, I that's could. Just, I'd be so. Dangerous. My scared. phone is waterproof. Really? Yeah. 
Oh, you got one of the new ones. Yeah, I got the newest. I got the newest, biggest iPhone. <laughs> uh, seven and up are all waterproof. They yeah. just happen to be more and more advanced waterproofing. Okay, you mm-hmm. can you can drop a seven in water and it'll be fine. Okay, good. That's what, that's what I have. You I don't, don't remember I, those little Wayne commercials where he would talk on a speakerphone inside of a fish tank or whatever? No, it was like a Samsung commercial. It was, huh? He was bad. The but tree, little but he's not really. Screaming. He's not really little though, is he? I haven't seen his penis. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> to the internet. Okay. Oh, okay. <laughs> um, anyway, it, it's so they they have to go get beeswax, and they're all concerned because like, isn't this the last day of Kwanzaa? And Kwanzaa bot's like, who the hell knows? Who the hell knows? <laughs> <laughs> I love that this this Kwanzaa song is so uninformative. Yeah, yeah. It tells it, you he even nothing. says he's losing interest during the song. He <laughs> yeah. sings about how he's losing interest. I'm, like talking about this segment is making me like it more. It's the second part of the segment that I don't like. Uh, is it because when they go to it's, talk to Petunia and you get some of the dirtiest lines ever on this right, show? It's the B stuff that I don't like. <laughs> Which, you sure you don't need a little sugar handsome? Maybe drink some honey straight from the hive. <laughs> Yeah. What is hey, it? Is die young and leave a beautiful corpse. That's what I always say. <laughs> you should say something <laughs> you else. Say something else. <laughs> <laughs> That's fantastic. Um, this, but anyway, those bees can't make good wax because they've been drinking tang and cough but, syrup. <laughs> <laughs> also, uh, Kwanzaa Bot is Coolio. Yeah, yes. yeah. So he reprised his yes. role. He didn't have any other commitments. Yeah. <laughs> in yeah. 2010. He wasn't he doing was... the Keenan and Kel theme song again. <laughs> <laughs> or, or on a reality show or whatever. Poor Coolio. He yeah, just wanted to... Poor Coolio. He, he just to wanted to... He has a... Well, he had a show on YouTube called Cooking with Coolio oh, where he just hangs out with his dudes and, like, makes fucking bomb-ass chicken and, really? and steaks and shit. Yeah, it's great. You should watch it. They're fucking hilarious. I'll have to. I mean, they're probably, like eight or ten years old by now, but they're so fucking funny and amazing, and he makes good-looking food. I think he put out a cookbook, too. Huh. Somewhat recent, like, even more recently than the... I'd love to see a things. celebrity master chef with him on it. That would be awesome. Oh, Have they I done want... celebrity master chef yet? They need to. They need to do celebrity mm, iron chef. I want to say no. I like master chef more. <coughs> yeah, master chef is really good. I it's prefer master chef to top chef, too. Top chef is, like, snooze fest. I just like the, like, it, it seems more wholesome. I know it's not like, uh, uh, what's that one show that everybody's losing their mind with, Amy Poehler and Nick Hoffman. Oh, oh uh, like making, making It. Making It. Making yeah. It. Like, everyone's, like, super nice. But, like, I like that there's a little bit of a, a shittiness to it. Mm-hmm. But is it, is, <sighs> I get them all confused. Is Top Chef the Gordon Ramsay one? No, Master Chef. Master Chef is. Gordon yeah. Ramsay and Graham and. Did you ever watch the kids Master Chef? Oh yeah, I watched that one too. Or as I like to call it, Aspie Kids, because it just every yeah. single kid on there. Like my daughter's nine. Oh she's, yeah, she's like, uh, that, I'm I'm gonna say the word normal, and by that I just mean average, like sis. You, you know, <laughs> just what? But like the kids on that show. I almost feel like there's something wrong with them, like how... Like they're on the spectrum or something? Yeah, they're, just They're all the children of intense. actors and they're business... They've they're just been yeah. stage fathered. Yeah, they're all rich kids whose parents are either actors or, like, famous chefs already. Like, they're just, all like, the children of... And they just, like, browbeaten them into being, like... Right. Yeah, I, it, it really rubs me the wrong way. I don't know way. if they're when browbeaten. Like, I mean, they're... Just when there's like a seven-year-old kid that's like... Uh, you, they nah. pick the most charismatic children, obviously, to put on a television show. You're not going to pick the kid that doesn't want to look at the camera if you're right. making a TV show. Yeah. That's the thing, is they're, they Shop all Junior just end up like being... one of those shows where it's like, it's fun when you see this kid who's like struggling and then he like makes the best dish. Yeah, yeah. no, that's great. I mean, that part's cool. Triumph the of the, the will. There was the, the last season, there was a little boy who went home pretty, like he wasn't the first one. He was maybe like within the first five kids that went yeah. home. And um, after the the show finished taping, like his his dad like killed his mom or something. And then what? like- Oh shit. Yeah, there was like a murder suicide show. thing and they, everybody was like- it, like it was really sad that the the poor boy's parents like he he does got kicked off a of master chef and then his parents both died hello and, netflix drama series oh my I don't god know that's about a, that, that's like, an episode of svu 
I was gonna say it's like a whole making a murderer season. No, it, it sounds pretty cut and dry. I guess like the stress of the show just like them. fucked with the kids. It, the kids, oh, I guess the kids living with his grandparents now or something. But wow. his his dad, I, they the the family owned like a barbecue restaurant, and huh. something happened because of the show, and he like his kid's dad just snapped. Oh, oh. Anyway, uh. Kwan's a bot. <laughs> yeah, Coolio. the Poor space Coolio, space right? bees. <laughs> I, the parasites really gross me out. Yeah, yeah. The, they look like the butt, crabs. butt crabs. Um. Well, I, I just like the, the last part of that tang and cough syrup wine though is uh, like they've been drinking tang and cough syrup, or as I like to call it, Friday night. <laughs> <laughs> it's, yeah. Um. I just feel like after this point, after the bee farm. Like this, this story just kind of goes off the rails in terms of like, wow, they were really stretching to find a Kwanzaa story. Like, yeah, I like, I don't know, it it just lost me with the second half. Did um, well, there's the thing about like it's too quiet, like the deadly Prius. <laughs> but I, I was trying to figure out, um, see, according to Google Hive, it should be over here. Like, was that? I feel like that was a thing. Were they making a crack about something, or were they just trying to be like Google Maps, but in the Beehive? I think they were just like or yeah, Google Earth an app for everything. So I mean, like, like Google Hive sounds like some sort of like you know, distributed that was about computing the same network time or something. That Google came out with their Google Hangouts and G. Gotcha, like the G Suite and stuff. Yeah. What, what's what's Google the, Plus? I, I was going to say, what was that? failed social media it's thing still there well, yeah, people no. will occasionally add me on google plus and i'm like what the fuck like yeah, I get from 2013 or whatever. those yeah. are those are russian mail order brides i'm sure no they're <laughs> they're actually uh yeah, i should probably take my number off of that indian men asking me to be their wife is what it is <laughs> <laughs> i get lots of messages on facebook and stuff from from those gentlemen I, that's, I fell for it though. I thought it was going to be a thing. You thought it was. Oh yeah, I, I, I did it for like a week Everybody when it first did. started. And then Lo, and yeah. then and just it's. Oh, I forgot about Lo already. Yeah, I, I did Snyder Lo for like three days, and then I was like, oh, this sucks. This doesn't. This app doesn't work. It doesn't, and, yeah, it didn't even work. Like if it worked, it would be yeah. fine. Even I well, don't actually, understand. I didn't like it when it, was, when it did work, but like it was fine. That this one wasn't great. came and went so fast that, like, I didn't even, like, wasn't even finishing, like, figuring out what it was before yeah. it was, like, no, like it wasn't there. Yeah. yeah. Just got a big uh, nah, son. Done. Yeah. Um, I don't need more social media. Did, so it, I think, I mean, this this was just a wordplay thing. But when the bees were flying into things and blowing up, they called them kam- kamikazbees. Mm-hmm. But there's no I, other than the, the pun, of, the obvious one. Yeah, but this was before all of that, and it and that's like a total non sequitur with like nothing to do with anything. But right. I don't know. Um, yeah, I, did it, something blow up in every single episode or every single segment? They die in every single segment, except Bender doesn't die in the. Robonica. Well, does does anything like explode? Because I the, the pine cones explode in the first um, one, the bees explode in this one. I felt like the bees exploding was like supposed to be like kind of this like Willie being apocalyptic thing. Yeah, and like Treehouse Five or whatever you know. Like, mm-hmm. I I don't know. Um, <clears throat> it was it was just that they're like well the butt crabs Zoidberg had them too at one point. <laughs> Been there, done that. I feel like Zoidberg um, would have eaten. Them. I think he would have too. Like he's he's especially the big ones. Yeah, juicy. <laughs> um, I think this is the part where I got uh, this. Okay, this these two lines, and I, this is where I wrote. This is kind of problematic. It was the one where Hermes is talking about African Americanizing the bees, mm-hmm. and mm-hmm. then the follow up being the crazy tablecloth man is right because he was wearing a dashiki. Thing is, is that problematic? It, it was a, it was the two of those who, together. It just seemed like a real. Who played the the queen bee? Was uh, she? Oh, um, Don Lewis. Was she the her. the voice of the bee La Barbara. both times? Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was Labar. She's Don Lewis, Jaleesa on a different world, who co-wrote the theme to a different world with mm-hmm. Bill Cosby. Oh, okay. Tricky, huh? Hmm. Um, Small world, I guess. But hey, the spirit of Kwanzaa killed all the parasites. Sure. <laughs> yep. Not? Yep. That's what it was. Ick, ick, <laughs> but yay. <laughs> <laughs> um, 
Uh, and then what? Then it, what? <clears throat> did they all die? Yeah, they all got like they got turned into like, candles. I guess they don't really die. They, they I, just get turned into candles. Yeah, and then, like it does this like weird Twilight Zone ending. Al Gore and, closes like, the Al show. Yeah. Where he's going to be Captain Lance Starman. <laughs> I do love that. I love that he's so yeah. goofy in this show because he's not that goofy of a well, person. You, but really. look, do you think, I mean, I don't think he was renowned for being goofy. Like, right. Well, like, I mean, like the Simpsons episode, the, the joke of him, like, is someone buying a copy of his book and playing Celebrate? And he's like, I will. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, I mean, he certainly seems to have a good a good sense of humor about all this stuff. and And it's like... Especially, like, at this point, I don't want my politicians to be anything but fucking dead serious and reasonable. Or away from me, as far but as that, possible. That, too. That, I mean, we are coming I mean, up like on this Gore, crazy election day, but... Al Gore being goofy is a pretty new thing. It's like within, well, I guess... Oh, within the last 20 years, yeah. Well, I was going to say 20 <laughs> years is, like, not that new, I guess. But, like, it's Futurama that made him cool. Sure. Or at least well, he had his time. Oscar-winning documentary... Right, but like I mean, that was around the same time. And he's buddy like, buddy with Tommy I mean, Lee he Jones. Even used Futurama clips in that movie. Yeah, mm-hmm. and like in Thirty Rock, him being like mm-hmm. uh, th- that joke of, of him being like a green superhero or whatever. Well, he didn't. He didn't need to worry about image. I mean, like, God, here we here we go. It always turns into this anyway, just because everything is burning. But like. You know, around this time, or maybe a little bit earlier, like Howard Dean was gonna be the guy, and all he did at a rally was be like, Rah! Rah! and that so killed weird. his career. Right. Yeah. And then you look at where we are now, and you're like, Jesus, right? Jesus, fuck! Like, how does how? Like, we gotta please clap. How and did like, we get into this like, yeah, d- distorted timeline? Yeah. I don't. I don't know. A fucking piece of shit will be you know, here next we week. Fucking, Five days before we get a fucking ticket. I on the podcast already next voted. Week. Yeah. I did too. Howard Dean, I already podcast. I voted early because my birthday is Tuesday. So I need to figure out my girlfriend I ain't getting broke her up. arm and she's having surgery that day. So I Ooh. need to figure out how to. What times are surgery? I I don't know exactly, but like she's not going to be. Able are they to taking it off or adding a third one? They're putting bolts in her arm. Yeah, man, she really like, broke her arm. No, it's 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 a very bad. Practice. Yikes. Oof. Um, but she's not going to be able to go vote. No. And it's too late to get like a an absentee. Yeah. You can go down, or there's like a voting location you can go to. I'll, yeah, I'm going to see. But what, Dennis Kucinich left unlocked. I don't even know unlocked. if she's going to be conscious, honestly. That's the, the biggest issue. So, so that's where you have the fun with it. Just wheel her on in. <laughs> let her just. You just let her just put, tap. Just Russian roulette of yeah. voting. Yeah. <laughs> Actually, no. Just fucking make, tie her to a bed. Go by yourself. Well, I'm going to vote regardless. Yeah. But I just, you know, like that's. I always do absentee, and especially like now because there's mm-hmm. like 87 judges on the ticket this yeah, time. Yeah, exactly. I like to. After listening to Serial, I wanted them. to get a little That's bit. That's exactly why oh. I did my absentee Ooh. ballot. I wanted to vote right, for we, some we judges, man. We have no say in his because we're all Lakewood people. Right? No, it's county. Yeah. Oh, he's a county. Yep. Yes. Oh shit. Okay. Good yeah. to know. I didn't know that. Yeah. I I'm very vote, ill informed, whoever, apparently. whichever judge has the best name, that's who I vote for. Yeah, whoever has I'm a D kidding. next to him, that's <laughs> or sounds Irish. <laughs> Charles Nips a plenty. <laughs> they got. They have to have the last name Russo, otherwise I don't yeah. vote. There's, there's a there's, yeah, the the leprechaun basic. from the movie Leprechaun. <laughs> there are a lot of judges named Russo. They're, like half in, the ballot is named Russo. Yeah. There's also two Satulas Cetu, or there's like a there's, there's like, like a Satula, like, Satala, and Santala, and yeah. they're all like and the two of them are in the same race. Mm-hmm. No uh, relation. Yeah. yeah, it's it's just. Anyway, I'm glad that I did do absentee anyway. They just got my ballot because now if you do absentee, you get like a little email update mm-hmm. saying, we got it. You yeah. know, it's there. But I now I have to go out of town next week unexpectedly. And they're like, oh, shit. Like, I totally would have missed that. Yeah. So, you know, just taking controversial stands on things. Mm-hmm. Like not wanting. So you should probably go fucked. vote after this episode comes out, even though it's probably. Coming I think out I think it's coming out after that. Yeah, <laughs> hopefully. Hope you voted yesterday. You guys. know what? We we <laughs> we were recording. People. We were recording the night of the election in 2016. I think Dan Bernardi was on the episode that night, mm. and just oh like, yeah, as it was oh. going on. My wife was in the other room, just like <laughs> shouting out how fucking awful it was going. It my was roommate such a walked bummer. into my room. 
you know, at 2 a.m. or whenever it was, like, officially announced. Yeah. And she was just like, Donald Trump's president. I'm like, I don't care. Give me one more night where he's not. Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah. I was at, uh, at May Halls with JV and Abby. Mm-hmm. And when things started going wrong, I was like, I got to go home and go to bed. I can't watch this. It yeah. just hurts too much. This is pain. I just, I, like, I couldn't, I couldn't watch it. So I was just, like, watching movies. I was just like, mm-hmm. <sighs> fingers crossed. It's hard to believe that was, like, two years ago. Only it feels through. like a fucking eternity. Yeah, only halfway through. Uh, Hopefully, Jesus. Only halfway through. Anyway, uh, thanks for being on the show, George. It's always well, nice to you, have Trump you back. Twenty twenty. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> we just keep MAGA all over the place, right? Kanye twenty twenty. Um, Kanye Trump twenty twenty. Now, uh, second shot was sort of uh, on hiatus for a while, but you just put out an episode yet. Yeah, we yesterday, put out right? Episode. Um, we talked about goosebumps. My, I talked about goosebumps. I liked your rap. Life. That was great. Yes, we did a rap. <laughs> <laughs> because Devin love, insists on rapping every episode. <laughs> it's kind of his thing. We'll, um, uh, we'll be back on a regular basis or semi-regular basis yeah, now? We have uh, one or two episodes in the bank, so we'll have at least those. Sweet. Um, yeah. We're definitely going to be rapping again soon. Uh, episode <laughs> 69 is coming up. So oh, oh shit. Maybe. <laughs> Can you because record that at like an, an adult world or something? I wish. I so wish. I, I'm mobile, so if you know any place who has dildos on the wall. Uh, there's <laughs> that one up on Berea Road and one. Oh, I know. I did just walk in and be like, like, look, just do what are they going to say? No, that'll be like no means the, no, Pete. the fourth, you, you should fourth do, least awful thing that happened in there <laughs> that day. You should do the movie Deep Throat for your 69th episode. <laughs> the Deuce. You could do Debbie the Deuce. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Or one of those movies about Deep Throat. <laughs> yeah. Is there, weren't there competing ones? I, it was like the Hitchcock movie. Like the one that the, oh, there was like the two movies about Alfred Hitchcock being a monster that came out around the same time. And then there was two about Deep Throat that were getting made around the same time. I think one was just called Lovelace, maybe. I've heard of Lovelace. Well, I think there was another one. I don't know. I've been watching The Deuce and that. enjoying it. I need to watch on Deuce. I full of very full good. of Francoy goodness. It's it's mm-hmm. you know the guy who did the Wire. There's Still a lot of the Wire. There's a, oh the Wire was so good. Yeah, I know. I they know. say twenty yeah. years after the fact, but um, the, you know some of the cast from that shows up. It's it's pretty great. I mean, it's made it to two seasons where vinyl didn't get there. Right, and, but that's vinyl. I mean, like looking at the trailer, vinyl is like this is it. it was Scorsese though. It was, I was Martin hoping Scorsese. It would be really good. I, yeah, he's also I thought it was going to be great. Joker movies. So he like, did Boardwalk Empire. Right, that's which fine. was great. But like, not everything's. A maybe he needs. Him. Maybe he needs Marky Mark Wahlberg to really. <laughs> he needs his penis and push it into the him. next thing. <laughs> uh, anyway, is that a mm, Michelle? Is it? Mm. <laughs> You know, it Mark Wahlberg. Was, it was a prosthetic, you know. <laughs> That was that. It was a. Mm, why are we talking about this? Mm, not a. Mm, a Marky Futurama Mark. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Just getting those good vibrations. Um, <sighs> anyway, do you have anything? Are you, uh, you still doing the home home improvement podcast, or is uh, that home improvement podcast? I think is dead. I think Ryan's moving to Texas, but he hasn't oh. told me yet. Oh, uh, <laughs> so, all right. Uh, that's pretty much dead. Um, I think I have an episode that we recorded like a month ago that I forgot to post, but it's you know it's it wasn't really anything. Uh, I am bringing back the drive-in. Oh, cool. Uh, I'm just doing it at my house, so it's legal. Okay. Um, <laughs> so that's going to be on Black Friday. So it's going to be like a, a turkey day hangover. It's a triple Ooh. feature. So I'm going to do three bad movies. Uh, sort of indeterminate right now, but I think I'm doing Wicker Man, Ninja 3, The Domination. Uh, and if you've never seen Ninja 3, The Domination... Uh, no, I haven't seen that, do, nor have I seen Ninja 1 or Ninja 2. You don't need to see Ninja 1 or 2. It's, ninja, it's like Troll 2. It's like... Sequel and non-canon. Marvel. It's mm-hmm. like that that Highlander movie with Mario Van Peebles. Halloween right. four. It's it's, it's uh, a <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Halloween three. You mean three? Yeah, um, yeah, yeah. yeah. It, it's uh, uh, about a female uh, 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 power line worker who stumbles across a ninja who had had a, a very epic battle on a golf course. Okay, oh. um, and finds his sword. And then becomes possessed with his spirit, I huh. guess. Kind of like a uh, lady in the lake situation. Yeah. You know, like a lady in the, the water trap. Kind of. But she's also a jazzercise expert Fuck yeah. and teacher. So there's a lot of buns. Nice. Um, which is cool. It's fucking incredible. 
it, I, it'll cure your hangover immediately. <laughs> what about your third one? Have you are you still? Uh, I'm still determining. I, I uh, I'm, I'm going to be making the event page soon. So the, there's. Uh, I was listening to a lot of how did this get made recently, and what occurred to me is I don't think they've done this movie. I just I just want to put it out there real quick. Did have any of you seen the movie Super Fuzz? No. We could talk about it off mic, but I just want to get it out there because that might be something that would interest you. Right. I was thinking about get uh, get even or get even because the guy who wrote it <laughs> he made the movie. Uh, didn't put a space in between the word get and even. <laughs> <laughs> so it's just get even? Get even. That's a brand of scotch, isn't it? <laughs> so I might do that one. But Lovely. I, that's exciting. I'm glad that the creative projects are flowing once again. Um, we'll have you back soon before this show comes to a grinding halt. I'd love to. Um, anything else to plug or talk about? Mm-hmm. When Tom, when is this going to come out? The... It will come out the midnight, the day after Election Day. Okay. So uh, if you are listening November to this in your 7th, it, it's currently uh, the day after 7th, Michelle turns 30. 30, two days before my band plays with Iron Sheik, and now that's class. Go see that. There's, uh, there's a whole bunch of shit going on that night, but that'll be the best thing to do. And yes, I don't have nothing. Okay, Michelle. Got nothing, man. All right. Well, uh, it's, lazy, dude. it's nice to be back. It's been it's been a while. Uh, it, oh, wow. It's going to be a little weird getting episodes out again because my schedule's fucking crazy, but we'll have them out soon. Thanks for listening, everybody. You know where to find us at slurmcast.com, at slurmcastpod at gmail.com, on Instagram and Twitter at slurmcastpod. On Facebook, uh, you can call us at 216-438-1077, and you can also write and review us on iTunes because uh, that's what all the fun, cool, and crazy people do. Um, I think that's it. Mm-hmm. Yay, I'm yep. still lucid, and it's after 9 o'clock. Have Bye. a great week, everybody. Bye. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.